Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. I got Manny with me. We're back from the holiday. Did you have a good holiday, Manny? Yeah, dude, definitely. Uh, uh, was uh, chilling, doing uh, my thing, waking up late. <laughs> I'm an early bird, man. I try to get stuff going early, but uh, I've been, I, I took I took some days off, man, for just uh, just to chill out, play some Witcher Three, and uh, you know just. Uh, give Gwen a little bit of a breather here but uh, we're back in full force and uh, today we're playing uh, actually uh, we're playing DG Thunder's list uh, if you don't know who DG Thunder is he's a pretty cool dude um, he, uh, he's usually on uh, you'll see him in McBeard's chat and stuff really cool dude um, but he's got a list it's up on Gwent DB right now um, he's got some upvotes I'll put it in a link to uh, you guys to check it out he wrote up a good uh you know article on how to play it and everything and uh give it a thumbs up he's a cool dude uh what do you huge think of the lace yeah what do you think of the uh, list Manny? I, the least i like it i just wanted to say huge shout out to gd thunder because you know he's always supporting the community and uh not just that but also you know individuals so he's a great guy and you know uh right now as you were saying that i'm clicking the oak boat boom there it is see Manny's Manny's on on board with it. <laughs> Takes two it's seconds, sad. man. It, it helps out if you're a, if you're a content creator, man. Stuff like that helps you out a lot because uh, it just gives you a, you know just a, one person that like you know never saw your content before. They they you know they click on they're like oh man you know this guy's got some some pretty good stuff going on here you know I mean and then they check out your channel and then you know it's just it's just a nice little snowball that uh, you know it can it can help out a content creator a lot so. A little That's means a lot in the content creator world. How the internet works. Yeah, but uh, just going over the cards real quick. Uh, you know the the golds we got. Wispus tribute for you know either monsters, Ness, or mandrake. It's pretty much mandatory. Um, also, too on the mandrake, uh, someone else brought this up. I forget who it was, but uh, do you think that the mandrake picture has an arm, or is it is is this part back here? An extra boob. Does it have three boobs or is it an arm? I think it's definitely an arm. I think the mandrake. <laughs> that's exactly why it is. It's supposed to be like a resemble. Uh, the fact know. that a turnip has boobs in general is is an issue. But <laughs> 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 I'm I'm in the three boob community. I've watched Total Recall, so I think it's I think it's <laughs> the third boob. No no judgment, dude. No judgment. <laughs> Don't you? Uh, Triskel Kinesis, uh, just an overall good card she gives you an extra blood moon she can also pull reconnaissance or one of your opponents um you know bronzes you know an alchemy card maybe a lock something like that uh you know there, there's a lot of things she could pull so uh great card for this deck caretaker just to steal something good gels to either pull your wispus or telekinesis or you know to pull one of your you know silver it's cards as well good. Yeah. yeah, he's always good. Like to try to set up the next round, it's just protection. Scales is a great card. Yeah, the silvers. Uh, you know, of course, we got a spy. If you're playing weather, which it's got fog and blood moon, you know, you want to throw a spy in there to start ticking. Um, Necarat, Osril. I was watching uh, Joe Snow's uh, stream over the weekend. I was like, man, you know what? I don't have premium Veda Maker. Um, I had it when it was. <laughs> Aromancy back in the day in closed beta, but then they reset the collection. I was like, man, I need to get this card in premium. What a what a beautiful premium card, man. It's got that like ride the lightning look to it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, for your uh, bronzes, it's got a couple bridge trolls, uh, some werewolves. Werewolves are really great against alchemy. You'll see this in a video later on. Um, the foglets, there is three of them in here, and if you move a bridge troll. If a bridge troll moves the weather and it's fog, it will pull another foglet. So it's a pretty great play. Um, and then, of course, we got the sirens for the moonlight. And then one reconnaissance. But, uh, yeah, super, super cool deck. Uh, shout out to him for creating it. And like I said, give him a thumbs up. Uh, it'll help him out a lot. But, uh, yeah, let's play some games. And uh, we will see how it goes. We'll record it. Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so we're... I got the wrong card in the deck here, so... And there it is. It comes out just to show. Yeah. All right? The, the full disclaimer. Let's get rid of this. And then we just get rid of the... <laughs> oh, my God. 
We're going up against their uh, thing, too. Alright. So I think first we fog to get that fog lit out. Man, this, this deck is going to be pretty good, isn't it? I hope so. Oh my goodness. We got the answer, but it sucks because we're going to go two down if we play it. I think he's uh, got, you think he's, oh, well, yeah, I just want to banish it, right? In case he it, does have renew. I love that card, dude. Don't do it. No, he brought seven. Goodbye, friend. He had the premium version, too. I respect that. Whoa. Well, well, he played it. He saved you. Do we keep going? I mean, we won the flip, right? Yeah, but still, like, for example, right now it's, uh, your man, he's going to be playing weather, I think. So it's, who, who do you think is going to have the strongest weather, if you, yourself or himself? Um, hmm. It's hard to say. Also, you can have carry over the next round if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, so it's up to you. Like, uh, this, is a, this is a good pass. I think so, but... I don't know if you want to go wrong. to a long run with... I've been wrong about many things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got to play his Frost now, right? For sure. Oh, he moved it out of it. So we just play our big boy. Uh, yeah, and he's going to get plus two if he doesn't get the, the weather right away. So it's... Uh, you, just change, you just change a bronze for a for a leader. That's ridiculously really good right now. We play the other one? Yeah, but like, how are you moving the... So you're going to move the, the, the weather once it's done in the back, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Hopefully he'll stack somewhere else. And we just breach troll him. Also, breach troll, man. 10 strength plus a movement. That's really good. Yeah, and it brings out the... It brings out the fog, but... So now we neck her at. Yeah, that will clear it. This... Is this a dream? Is this is this a dream moonlight, dude? Is this forever? Is this forever indeed? <laughs> I don't know, he's probably gonna pass now. I got one more moonlight if we could pull Triss with Gels. If we don't, all we get is a. Oh, he decoyed it. That was his last weather, though, right? Uh, he played two Biting Frosts. Two Biting Frost. Okay, so it's two Biting Frost and one Silver. Okay. Can I move this up and... It, it gets me ahead, right? You get plus 10, minus 2. Yes, you get it, plus it, it, I don't have to play it in that row. I could play it here. Of course, the fog that went in the wrong row. <laughs> He's doing he's doing foglets on the snow. Resistance is futile. Thirty. So now I blood moon. And what you do? What you do? Blood moon where? Or full moon here? Okay, so that will be. Does that put you positive? Positive. No. The only way I think I get it is if I, uh...
So we go carry over? Yeah, and then he plays something else and we'll still pass, right? Right. I think we just eat the seven. Yeah, that's pretty safe. Because if you eat the, the eleven or the three, yeah, because it, it even lives play. the parasite. So if, if he does play the, if he plays parasite to buff up, what's it called? Sabbath. We're still okay. This is my, this this is a good decision for him as well. Uh, if he uses the ladder. We just pass. Yeah, I think so. He has to. He has to play one more if he wants to do. If he, if he passes, and we still one card ahead. Yeah, and we got gels either with caretaker. We could say that that play was doo doo. <laughs> nah. Oh, Love please me. don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for sure that pulls telekinesis. So. That's not too bad. Okay, this, this is looking pretty good. He just passed. Mm -hmm. So we're up a card. Take it. Take it. And you you also have a, what's it called? A caretaker. That's, that's going to be really big. All right. I don't know if I mulligan here. I got some pretty bad mulligans I can hit. <laughs> yeah. I think I just leave it alone. So we so go you... first. And this plays fog, so I can play fog and then move it with uh I think I just play the thirteen. Or do I yeah, what, you, what you can mean... I steal? I could steal doo doo. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's what's what I was thinking. But I think if the thirteen dies, it's actually in a weird way, not bad because you're gonna recover it with a five. Right, that's what I was thinking too. Death. All right, so oh, we play the Vedamaker. we play the Veda Maker for Fog. Yes, and we put it in on that, and then once it dies or gets close to dying, we just swap it. And that's that's a lot of strength change, you know, a lot of points. Okay, so he's killing it for us, which is pretty nice. Uh huh. Um, Everything's going according to plan. Do we create a? Well, Blood Moon doesn't really do us any good because I could get a Siren and make one. True. He has one more Frost left, possibly two. Though that's the only thing. Maybe we just move it now and get the. Weather ticking on that 10. Yeah, because we can copy that, right? So we still can. Let's play it here. Oh, he had the clear. Okay. Okay. Uh... So we just reconnaissance? Or do we. Dudu's gonna steal a ten right now, currently. Which is not bad because it's, it's it's four plus ten. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll just play reconnaissance, and if we get a good one, we get a good one. If not, I'll do what I can. Yeah, we did not. I was hoping for the siren. You just got roared, dude. Yeah. Girls gone wild. Uh, <laughs> so. I love that story. Just for the record, I love that story. I think it's an awesome story. So we just doo doo now? Uh, well, no. no I think we can just hit it. Yeah. Because we can need something else for more graveyard or the, the bridge troll, the 10. It's pretty good, all that. I 15. swear, I started recording and my bird is going oh, nuts, we, dude. We got him. Oh, we got him. Easy. All right. 
So now we're going to record it with the right card in the deck. <laughs> That's part of the plan. All, All right. right. All right. John Calvate. So we're looking at some alchemy. First, let's drop the foglet. Blood Moon. And Andrake. Sure. I. Every time I see like a spy deck, it reminds me of David Rodriguez. I know that he's been playing spy until the day of no tomorrow. <laughs> hey, you got to man. That's that's the way the game's set up. Uh huh. It's gonna be. Shout it's out. probably gonna be changing soon here, but I you know. Oh, that's great! Like I love that. Um, I'm just hyped for what the future has to bring for once. You know, it's always good. Oh yeah, man always uh one thing that's good about this deck versus alchemy these guys can't get hit which is pretty awesome true so their witchers are so this is going to be slave driver into werewolf Back in line. bridge troll uh well let's get the fog what's out <laughs> No more foglets. We can move it again later with the bridge troll. When they play Calvate this early, I just instantly mandrake it. I don't care. Yeah, I, I honestly, what I was going to say, uh, he just seem like he doesn't care so it makes me believe that he has uh his gold card on him if he doesn't play what sucks is that if he has another slave driver he can actually bump this thing up fake siri we just eat it now right I don't know if we eat it now, now. Like, I don't think we have to answer it because we do have the answer, right? I can spy, right? Into the fog. Yeah, yeah well, I think we can spy. <laughs> <laughs> See, but he passes here, but I guess it doesn't but matter. Then you, well, here's the thing. If you pass, you have to carry over anyway. Right. So it's still pretty good. All right. So now, now you just get carry over. Now here. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, so that's minus four. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, no matter what, it, I've, I've learned my lesson <laughs> so many yeah. times with the fake Siri explosion. <laughs> so here we draw another Blood Moon, and... <laughs> oh, man, we got to get rid of this Foglet. I swear that if the foglet comes back, I'm so dumb. <laughs> it's going to. It has to. It, it it's it's currently bugged right now. It's gonna it's gonna be the it, card that we draw. It's my law. Yeah. So we just pass. We're up a we're gonna be up a card, which is nice. Hopefully he draws Kahir, so I can laugh. Back in line. <gasps> oh, that could have been. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be the foglet. We just gotta make sure that we don't uh, draw a siren. So that's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna risk it. We can actually play the two werewolves. Why is he? What's going on here? Okay. What's in his graveyard? That 13. So Oswald's got a target for the last turn. We're just positive right now, right? Yeah, because if he breached, breached the roll and tries to move like any has or something like that, there is nothing. And then after that, you're still having two more turns to which he can do Witchers, right? Right. Right. 
I can actually move the blood moons too. And caretaker, I can I could just steal a slave driver. Of course, as you wish, master. Or not. This is actually still pretty good because he he has to do buffing now. No. All right. And they'll stagger themselves. Rot tosser, really. We just gels. Right. We we have gales. We have uh. We can put uh, moon on another row. Let's just play this and well. No, I think I think that that's, that's oh, okay. Let me explain my reasoning why. Right? No, if you do goes right now, there's a chance that he has another rot tosser. So I think it's better if we just do the the, the four first, and then we do gales like after, just to uh, set up everything we we want. Come to me. So we blood moon. I think in we the do. back or here. Yeah, I was gonna say we can do positive because then we can have two wolves going with plus two. So he's gonna use a witcher to kill a four right now. And then he might use one. Well, we could just play another one. Yeah. Rain farm into Joaquin into what? <laughs> okay, here comes the calls. Call it, dude. Call it. It's probably gonna be another raw tosser. Oh, it's a Witcher. It's a Witcher. Time to get <clears throat> so we just gels now? Into Caretaker? What do we do with the Caretaker? Or we can use Veda Maker. Well, no, we just want a Caretaker. We could steal a Slave Driver. Yeah, we can put it also in the back, right? And we can, or we can get another. Okay, one. no, no, because that will be a one. That will be a one. Yeah. On the back, on the back, to protect the eighteen, anyway. Yeah. So we slave driver. Oh. Do we have a rot tosser target here? No. I guess we just play it though for the eight. Do you think he's got another one? Rot tosser control. Hmm. Well, I honestly think that we should start getting another uh, positive blood moon going on. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll do that. We had to, we had to correct the. Protect, yeah, yeah. Protect the... <laughs> First we protect, then we attack. You will pay. Machine. What machine does he have? Oh, Yo Comprendo. Me likey. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna blood moon back here then. What? Why put it there? You know what? Sure, I'll take it there. There's no problem. We play her on the on the range, right? Because if he does rotoser, then we, yeah, like that, and then we buff that row as well. We go for the buff, or we go for the blood. I moon? think I think we. Oh, we got two more blood moons, anyways. We're good. Yeah, I think we go for the buff because the blood moons are gonna be jumping at the end. And then we put the other wolfie there. Yeah, and and. Triss can spawn one, and so can this one. So we can actually play two of them. His whole board's going to be red. Unless he's got weather clear. But if he had weather clear, he would have cleared it a while ago, right? I, I believe so. <laughs> what? So we Blood Moon in the back? No, yeah, I think I think we put our wolf, so he keeps 
getting heal on the on the on the middle, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we are putting plus two right now. These blood moons are gonna be hilarious with these trolls because we're gonna be able to move whatever weather back into another row. Yeah, I th I thought that we do breach trolls. <laughs> okay, there it there is. is. There it is. Um, do we move it now? If we if we move it now, we give him my Witcher target, right? That's true. So we just nuke one row. We think we just do one first, then we'll see. Apply a hazard. We'll play it in the back. Yep, and when now now we actually have to start flipping them left and right. <laughs> Do we? Well, yeah, because he could just kill this with the Witcher. He's gonna have to start hitting these, right? Yeah, I like I I don't know why he would save it for, because he cannot target it with sixteen. Like right now, he has to hit a. So we could just play another through. Blood Moon here, and he has nowhere to play. <laughs> no, no, no. But here's the thing. If if we play that third blood moon, we cannot move it. The effect there's no. No, you effect, can. Right? Yeah, you. Well, you can move this one down to here and do it again, or this one up to here and do it again. No, that's I, what I'm saying. So we do movement first. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So now we move. Oh, the, we couldn't target these. Yeah. So now we move the the weather from the middle all the way to the front to the bottom to the front. Yeah. Dude, this is awesome. Pick your poison. <laughs> so this is a this is a witcher. It's got to be a witcher, right? Well, he would have targeted ten. So he locked it. So what? Now we move the weather to the back to the range. I think so. Yeah. No, not the other one. That, that one, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That was hilarious, dude. He does not have a 30-something point card. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have no weather clear, man. How come he needs those three rows, man? Um... Hey, that's the video for today, though, guys. Um, Manny, you got anything for the wonderful Gwen community? Yeah, yeah dude. Don't get eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it's been kind of... I took a little bit of a break off for the holiday or whatever, but uh, we're, I'm back. I'll, I'll get some more videos out here. Me and Manny will throw some up here. Um, but, uh, yeah, good things are coming, man. You guys just... Like always, just got to be patient with CDPR. They just want it to be right. That's all. But uh, you've been playing some Monster Hunter, man. You, oh you, my God! Top, know, you're, he's, a, he's in the like top point one percent of the Monster <laughs> Hunter. No, it's a, uh, I have a problem. <laughs> a, oh, dude, I love that game. That yeah. game is amazing. Yeah, that's awesome that you're killer at it, man. You, no streams though lately, huh? Uh, no, but like, uh, probably I'll do some next week, and uh, on the 20th, I think I'm gonna stream my experience with God of War, huge God of War fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, keep an eye out for Manny's channel, he's always, uh, he's, his streams are fun, man, they're definitely fun, so check them out. <laughs> um, but like always, guys, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.